So I've got this video and I want to add subtitles to it. Hey everyone, my name is Alec and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add subtitles to any video online. And to get started, the tool we're going to be using to add subtitles to our video is an online video editor called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are going to be in the description down below. Now once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you can create a new account for free. And if you do have an account, we're just going to click on Create New Project. And now we're going to upload the video that we want to add subtitles to. So I'm going to click on Upload a File. Select my video, click open, and as you can see, it's now imported into Veed, and if I click play. Okay, so this is what my setup currently looks like. As you can see, this is my video. So to begin adding subtitles, all I'm going to do is head over to the subtitle tab in the left toolbar, click on it, and now we have three options to add subtitles. I can either upload a pre-existing subtitle file, I can either add subtitles to the video manually, or I can auto-transcribe my video's audio into text and turn that text into subtitles automatically. So if I click on auto-transcribe, select the language that I'm talking in within the video, hit start, and as you can see, now this process might take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your video. So as you can see, the subtitles have just finished, and now if I bring my playhead back to the beginning and I press play. Okay, so this is what my setup currently looks like. I've got my MacBook, I've got my second monitor, I've got my post-it notes, and I should Okay, so this is brilliant. Now there's only two mistakes in here and this is in the last subtitle. So if there are any mistakes, you can go into the subtitle editor on the left and just click and correct it as if it was text anywhere else. So here for an example, for post-it notes, it wrote posted. This is an understandable mistake. It's also because I'm talking reasonably fast. I'm just gonna correct that. And then instead of saying shave my head, it said showed my head. But again, that's probably because my accent isn't the best. So now, as you can see, I've got my correct subtitles. So let's say I want to turn one of my subtitles into two separate subtitles. For an example here, I say I've got my MacBook, I've got my second monitor, I got my, and then it's cut off, and then post-it notes. So I want the I got my and post-it notes to be a separate subtitle of its own. So first, what I'm going to do is just split my subtitles. So I listen back and find the error that I want to make the split. I've got my second monitor. So right here, after I say monitor, I'm gonna click split. And as you can see, it says I've got my. Now I did this in the wrong place. So I'm just gonna click undo or control Z on the keyboard, split again. And now I'm in the wrong place once again, bring it back a tiny bit more, just click split. I've got my, okay. So I'm just gonna change this and write I've got my, that's because I accidentally say I got my, just like so. And then post-it notes here, I'm just gonna go in and what I can do is just straight up copy this, post-it notes, paste it here in the previous one. And now the thing you'll notice if I play them back is that the subtitle timing will be all messed up. Got my second monitor, got my post-it notes. Okay, so to change the timings, there's a few ways we can do this. We can either click and drag straight within the timeline or we can edit the timings right here. But to make it easy, I'm just going to click and drag in the timeline, just like so. So at the end, I say I shave my head. Notes, and I shave my head. So that's where it should appear. So I'm just gonna click and drag to adjust this. Gonna click fit timeline so everything fits correctly. And then post-it notes, let's say where I say it. Monitor, got my post-it notes. Okay, so that should be roughly about here. And then I'm just gonna click and drag this one to stick next to the previous one. So now if I press play. Got my second monitor, got my post-it notes. And I shave my head. Okay, so this is what my setup currently Okay, so this is perfect. Now I've added the subtitles to my video. I do want to mention that I can go ahead and style the subtitles so I could change the style. For example, I could choose these ones. I could choose these white ones with the black drop shadow. And then you can also change the font, the font size, the color, and customize them to your liking. Now here, if we go into the options, this is where I can download them as a separate SRT file, so a closed captions file, if I'm uploading them to YouTube or Facebook, for example. But if I want them hard-coded into my actual video, I'm just gonna click on export in the top right and make sure I have burn subtitles toggled to make sure they are hard-coded into the video and they are part of the MP4 file. So now you'll notice that if I click export on my video, here it is currently rendering, and this again can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes. And once it's finished rendering, I should be able to preview the final file with my subtitles. So if I press play. Okay, so this is what my setup currently looks like. I've got my MacBook, I've got my... Perfect, and now as you can see here, we can either edit the video again, or I can download it as an MP4 or a GIF. So I'm just gonna click download as an MP4, and now I've added subtitles to my video online using Veed. If you have any questions about how to add subtitles to your video, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.